Hello, my name is Romero Trevino. I'm owner of Ag Excel, Precision Liquid Fertilizer Solutions, and we're presenting this new product, our Ag Excel GX30 Intelligent VRT. It's a great product that allows you to achieve higher rates and higher volumes, especially in prescription-based type applications, or with the new high-speed planners going anywhere from five to 10 miles an hour. This really will help you assist in managing pressure and allowing you to control the pressure on the system at those high speeds. So basically what we've done is that we've created a dual microcontrol valve setup and we have microcontrol valves. One set is basically monitoring and managing one set of range of application. The second set allows you to get a broader range of application and then together when you turn them on both then it allows you to get an even further larger range of application. Many times they're running into problems where when they're doing any kind of strip tilling or prescription based type applications, they can't achieve their, their range. So in other words, if they need to achieve anywhere from 10 to 60 gallons an acre, one set of orifices won't allow them to do that. So they basically have to settle, if you will, to a lower range. And so what this does, it eliminates that problem. And it'll basically allow you to get a broader range of application because now we have the ability to filter through three sets of orifices. So right now what I'll show you is how it can be performed or how it performs with a, a high-speed planter. Right now I'm set at 11 gallons an acre going five and a half miles an hour. So if I start to increase my speed going up, I'm at six miles, six miles an hour. You see how my pressure starts to increase. Watch what happens as soon as my pressure hits uh, 35 PSI. I'm at seven miles an hour, seven and a half. You saw the shift. My pressure starts to drop. I'm at seven and a half miles an hour. As I start to increase, eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour, watch the pressure. It shifted again. So I'm literally went from five miles an hour all the way to 10 miles an hour. It manages my pressure, it shifted twice. It allows me to accomplish that wide range of application and speed and still manage the pressure because the higher you go with pressure, the more inaccurate your volume is going to be because there's too much pressure and not allowing you to get your rate. So as I start to slow down here, whenever my pressure falls below 10 or 8 PSI and that, syst that, that setting can be configured however you want it, it'll shift back. So now I'm at 7 miles an hour. You saw the shift, the pressure starts to go up. It allows it to manage the flow much accurately. As I go lower, you'll see my pressure start to drop once again. And if it falls below that pressure again, it'll wait three seconds to make sure there's no variation. Once it waits for three seconds, it'll shift again. Pressure starts to go up again, so now I can start speeding up or slowing down. Same thing happens with my application. As I increase or decrease my application, it'll manage my pressure. One of the other nice features of this solution is that you no longer need section valves. This eliminates the need for any type of section valves, so you maintain better pressure, better accuracy, especially when it applies on takeoff, and then you no longer need any check valves. Now, notice carefully, my pressure is right at about 21, 22 PSI. As I shut my system off, most systems will lose pressure. If you had an eight pound check valve, you're gonna lose pressure to about eight PSI and then it'll settle. Watch when I shut it off how the pressure starts to climb. Pressure starts to go up because we are now controlling the flow and the volume at the roll level, pump still pump a little, the pressure goes back up. And what that means is a better launch. When I take off, it gets to my rate a lot quicker. End of the rolls, your application is much more efficient.